Did I say stupid people? Yeah, I did. Because I think they are. Asalaamu Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smart to Jannah. Smart to Jannah. <laughs> Now, before you guys get confused with the background and everything, no, this is not the declassified podcast that I've been doing recently. No, this is not the same podcast that's on SoundCloud and iTunes. Yeah. Now that we've got that subtle plug-in out the way and you can check the previous uploads, let's get on with the news. Now you guys living in the UK know that anytime Jeremy Corbyn does anything wrong, whether it's flatulating or sneezing in the wrong direction, it's gonna end up in the headlines with something to do with him, anti-Semitism and the fact that he's not ready to be a leader. Allegedly, Jeremy Corbyn has called Theresa May a stupid woman. I don't know what the fuss is about. Is she personally prepared to authorise a nuclear strike that could kill a hundred thousand innocent men, women and children? Yes. Hello darkness my old friend. He should be getting a knighthood or he should have a holiday named after him. People should name their kids after him. But apparently calling a stupid woman a stupid woman isn't a good thing. Specifying agenda is what's causing offence to people. Not the fact, not the fact that he just called her stupid. Like a day later, looks the camera straight in the lens and goes, I didn't call her a stupid woman, I called them stupid people. I was accused of saying something I didn't say. Did I say stupid people? Yeah, I did. Because I think they are. Da 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 da. It's the one and only Deagle Double G. Snoop Dogg! Snoop Dogg! He's saying forget one woman, I'm going after the lot of you mate. You're all stupid. Now what should be in the news is that Theresa May's husband hasn't paid corporation tax for eight years. Out of all the institutions, the BBC says it's disrespectful. You're not using respectful language, but okay. do you not think the, the respectful nature of Parliament is important? But he's just exercising his right of freedom of speech, mate. That moves me on to the second point. Remember that headline where Boris called women in burqas, letterboxes and bank robbers? Apparently, he's been acquitted, mate. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. There had to be a special investigation done on this. But you're not that's using that's... respectful language. We gotta get a team of experts using taxpayers' money and we gotta investigate this. Forget your Sherlock Holmes, forget your, you know, Pink Panther, forget your, you know, house or whatever famous detective you know that I don't know. Forget all of these morons, it's these guys who are the real OGs. Yeah, doing the serious investigations, mate. It's the easy open and close case. But you know why this is even more amazing? It's these guys got together and decided, you know what? Not only is he innocent, but what he said was, and I quote, respectful and tolerant. That's money wasted, mate. The third story I wanted to get into was the Pope. You win. In his Christmas speech, he's finally opened up about the child abuse scandals of the Vatican Church. Vatican is in Italy, but it's actually not regarded as part of Italy. It's his own entity, just like Washington DC. It's not really part of America. And similarly, the city of London, that's not part of the UK. The Pope comes out and says, you know, if there's anyone who's abused kids, you need to own up. No? No one? Oh well. I guess it's, uh, we're moving on to the next point then. Christmas. What's the deal with that, huh? We clearly don't accept that Jesus was born on December 25th, but we just got to do it because it's a commercial thing, isn't it? That moves me on, unrelatedly, to Toblerone. Toblerone's come out to say that they're halal now, and the far right is not happy about this, mate. Forget the fact that Toblerone are saying, we've changed nothing. We've just put a label on there just so we can get through certain protocols. Now, I know for a fact the right wing is not boycotting King's Meal. They're not boycotting Pringles. They're not boycotting KFC and Subway, all of which use halal insignia. But these guys fail to understand water, vegetables and fruits. They're also halal. I think we need to get the word halal written on there 
So these guys are malnourished and they just fizzle out and dissolve into the ground. And so the rest of us can live in peace. Hopefully you've learned something and uh, inshallah don't forget to check out and stay tuned for our podcast series and uh, hit that notification button and until next time guys Assalamu Alaikum Be prepared Everyone has secrets